loving you faithfully. Dennis. Kina Mama Hoye. We have or we have nothing. We are invited to a cocktail. Hello, nice people. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And for the returning subscribers, I love you so much. And so, according to our topic today, the twisted truth about Betty Kialo's many failed relationship. Yes, guys, a huge disclaimer before we start this video. The above video is not meant to tarnish Betty Kialo's name or even the people she has been able to date. But it, it has been made on the assumptions and allegations according to the men she has dated fans kenyans and also family yes guys you know what make sure you always watch this video till the end because you're going to be shocked on the assumptions and allegations that people have been able to come up with to show why betty kialo many relationships <laughs> Everything crystal, my G. I, I like the jacket, you know. You like the hair more? I love the hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When am I coming to your court? To do what? Uh, is there any hair there? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But you know, now I'm going out my sister all yeah, day. Yeah, all day, every day. Can I give you a break on your No. Hey, hey, wow. touch one. No human being is perfect to anything that they engage in and same to us celebrities. They are also not perfect in everything that they are doing. That includes their businesses, you know, work and also their relationships. And this applies to Betty Carlo and the men she has been able to date. In general, Kenyans, haters, and also fans of Betty Mte Kialo always end up questioning her on her social media pages, that is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as to why she has been able to date different men. And even some of them end up exaggerating that each year, Betty Kialo dates a new man. And yes, guys, some of them wonder, wonder how come Betty has never been able to settle till now and what are these allegations to the twisted truth about Betty Kialo's failed relationships with men. And just to show you an example of how these Kenyans, haters or even fans talk and I'll quote this one. See how your young ones are getting married. They will be stable in their marriages. Na wewe kazi yako ni kuchange wanaume daily kama nguo kwa mwili. Ukikunywa pombe you don't even care about your own daughter. You are busy with men as if they are source of your income. End of quote. Guys, this is just a reaction from one of the fans. And of course, if you know Betty Kialo, she cannot just sit down, especially if you involve the daughter. And she always answers back. And she is just among, you know, those fans whom they always question Betty Kialo about her relationships. So, leaving all that aside... Starting with the first man that Betty Kialo introduced to the social media, and that is Dennis Okari. By now we all know that the two are divorced, but they have one beautiful daughter, and that is Ivana. But what led to their divorce? According to Betty Mte Kialo, at that time she was very young, that is below 25 years of age, and she, has, she had not yet known herself that much for her to be able to get married, and that is why their relationship with Dennis Okari was not able, you know, uh, to go through. And also when it comes to Betty Kialo's mother, she says that at some point she was able to warn Betty about the relationship but she was not able to listen but what was this thing that the mother was able to warn Betty take care of? and that leads to her first failed relationship 
with you know Dennis Okari. On Dennis Okari's side, we've never had you know his side of the story, but that's all for him. The second alleged relationship that is after Betty Kello divorcing with the husband Dennis Okari is of Betty and Hassan Joho. It is alleged that Betty Kialo and her son started dating in 2016 May, uh, that is after the breakup with Dennis Okari. Although the two have never went out to confess that they were indeed seeing each other, but there were allegations out there on social media whereby the governor was able to buy Betty Kello a car and even after the breakup, uh, the governor was able to take back the car. That was all, you know, those shenanigans that, they, that was going all over the social media, but what led to their breakup? According to a source, the two had a lot of differences, Betty Kello being a media personality and Hassan Joho being a governor. And one of the things that, you know, this source identified is that, you know, Hassan Joho wanted Betty Kello to leave her job. And of course, if you know Betty Kello, she could not be able to do that. And that is what led to the breakup. Guys, as you continue, share your thoughts in the comment section and give this video a big thumbs up. Getting to the third relationship, and this was tagged like hashtag Somali Bay. At this point, we saw Betty Kialo dating two different Somali men, one of whom was not on social media that much, and the other one was alleged to be Ali Noor. Despite Ali Noor denying the relationship and saying that he is happily married, this is what Betty Kialo had to say in an interview with Jalango, and I'll quote, it didn't work out. The thing is things don't work out sometimes with people and it's okay, it's fine. I don't know why we have so much stigma about relationship and how we should act and how we should last forever. Sometimes think, things work out, sometimes think, things hit a rock and it's okay, mna chana kouzuri, she revealed. At this point, this is where Betty, you know, was kind of accused of dating married men because most people are speculating that she was dating Ali Noor and, and on the other side, Ali was saying that he is happily married, but according to her, things just did not work out. But a, a lodge report for like lodge baby is such lodge. an advocate lodge and lastly just we before we combine all the twisted truth about betty's failed relationship we have nick and i know most of you might be wondering how come i've put nick in this list and yet some of you maybe know that they're still together It has been making rounds on social media that, you know, Betty Kialo and Nick are no longer together. This is whereby Betty went to Watamu the other day and in one of her posts she quoted uh, moving on swiftly. And also apart from that we've seen that the couple have been able to delete each other's photos on their Instagram page and Nick has, no, you know, on Instagram she has unfollowed sorry he has unfollowed betty kialo in a source nick was able to reveal that it is a lot of pressure dating betty mte kialo since she is a celebrity and he continued to reveal nick was also able to you know reveal that 
He does not like the habit of Betty Kialo posting kids on social media where on the on the other side Nick could not love you know his kids to be exposed on social media. He also continued to say you won't meet somebody today hung out a few times and a few days after that you've gone public you are still in that stage and they really need time before they can expose their relationship to public and guys if you know betty kello that is so different so nick continued to say that you need as much time as possible as you navigate in that stage but betty and i have never got that and i think most celebrities don't get it he further made it clear that couples should strive to invest in their relationships not because they want to impress the public because they want to get it right and guys most of the times you've seen when Betty Kialo has started dating, you know, she posts it and post here all over the social media. But when it comes to, you know, Anik, he does not prefer that part of social media. And guys, comment down below. Do you think that will be the reason as to why the couple are not together? Or we can say they might not be together. So, the first assumptions as to why Betty Kialo relationships, many relationships are failing. Number one, she is a celebrity. And when it comes to dating a celebrity, there is much pressure on what you're doing and everything that you're doing. Number two, Betty Kialo is an independent woman. And of course, if you don't understand that aspect of an independent woman, then maybe most men might not be able to get it. And the third one, maybe, you know, it's hard to uh, understand, you know, uh, Betty Kialo. Guys, share your thoughts in the comment section and let me know what you think. With all mentioned and all history that I've given to you, with all men that Betty Kialo have dated, and with that you might be, you know, you might be able to understand as to why Betty Kialo's relationships have failed, that is with men. But guys, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all this. And so guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up to show that you really enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Betty Kialo. And guys, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to always get notified every time I post. And so guys, till next time. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB who